This first one, let's have a look at this first one. When you've got players, you've got a lot of space around the left-hand side of the stoppage. So Collingwood needed to hit it forward. Again, have a look at the space just behind Cameron. That's where Collingwood wanted to hit it. But for some reason, he's wanted to hit it the other way where all the Bulldogs players were. Again, they get forward. They get their centre bounce clearance. Seven centre clearances. Again, Collingwood got all this space to the left of Cameron, but the ball goes over the back again. And this happened for seven clearances in a row for the Bulldogs. They went forward time and time again, and they were just six goals to zero early. Norton kicks this goal, goes back to the middle, and the same thing happens over and over again. Have a look at Adam Trelaw. Have a look at his work here to upset Collingwood in the midfield. This isn't poor Collingwood. This is more good Adam Trelaw. He goes into that spot where Collingwood should be hitting it. He gets forward of the ball. They go forward again, the Bulldogs. That's the sixth in a clearance, and they go forward. They kick a goal from that. So it ended up being six goals to nothing, and the game was done. You haven't had a good run with technology this no, year, the, have you? The board behind me didn't work then, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> so you're spot on, though, Brandon. You're bounces. spot on. It's where the game was, was yeah. won and lost in that period in the centre clearances by the Western Bulldogs. I want to talk about Jordan Dugowie. So in this game, uh, Bailey Smith, 41 touches. McRae, 37. Trelaw, 35. Libba, 31. Bont, 26. And Dunkley, 24. Jordan Dugowie was a permanent oh, midfielder. Gosh. And he had three kicks and nine handballs for three-quarter time. And then he had a good last quarter. I'll give him that. He did have a very good last quarter. But I don't know how you can get three kicks in three-quarters of footy when it's as open as it was. So he's, so what's had, he's, saying to you, he's had a bad month. Yep. And he is, he's a, he's a, I'm saying he's not a great footballer. He's a solid footballer at AFL level at the moment. He's a solid player. So that's all. Yeah. That's all. The perception is that he is a superstar worthy of a superstar. He was for the contract. back end of yeah, 218 and early 2 But unless you can do it consistently yeah. year on year, like Dangerfield's an eight time All Australian. Jordan Ngoi ever been All Australian? Has he ever finished top three in their best and fairest? Now he's got a lot of body of work there. So he's one player if you. If you have to let him go, you let him go. Because all the other issues that come with Jordan Ngoi and his performance, he's not influencing games like the players that are paid similarly to him are. 